Hello there, my name is Caroline Murphy and I am a member of the Applied Biochemistry Group here in Dublin City University, Dublin, Ireland. I would like to tell you a little bit about our review on recent technology advances in antibody purification on behalf of myself and my co-authors Dr. Tatiana Devine and Professor Richard O'Kennedy. The purification of antibodies is vitally important as they are used as therapeutics in laboratory based signs and as biological sensors in environmental monitoring and so batches of exquisite purities are required. There are two main methods of antibody purification. Firstly, chromatographic based methods that include affinity, affinity tag, ion exchange, size exclusion and immuno affinity chromatography. And secondly, non-chromatographic methods that include the use of thermoresponsive tags, precipitation, flocculation, crystallization and aqueous two-phase partitioning. Antibodies used in these areas come in many shapes and sizes, from monoclonals to polyclonals to recombinant antibodies, and so purification methods must be tailored to suit not only the downstream application, but also the type of antibody that is being purified. We will now take a quick look at conventional antibody purification methods in use today, some of which include affinity and affinity tag based purification methods. These include the use of bacterially derived proteins A, G, L and M and his tag CMIC, T7, FLAG and glutamate glutamate tags. These methods provide high purity and high selectivity. However, problems such as leaching of protein A into the eluent and associated high costs are problematic. Other conventionally used antibody purification methods involve the physiochemical fractionation of antibodies. This involves the physical removal of contaminants from lysates prior to loading onto chromatography columns. The methods can be either physical or chemically based, involving centrifugation and filtration or flocculation, precipitation and crystallization, among others. In this review, we look at recent technological advances in both chromatographic and non-chromatographic based techniques. We take an in-depth view at new improvements in chromatographic techniques that involve the use of protein A and G, multi-column counter-current solvent gradient purification systems, novel tags, advances in mixed mode materials, synthetic ligands, ion exchange, monolith and immunoaffinity based chromatography. While on the non-chromatographic side, we investigate thermoresponsive tags, aqueous two-phase partitioning, flocculation, depth filtration, crystallization, and the use of copolymers for precipitation. We will now progress to look at recent technological advances in antibody purification. In 2014, Bailey et al. developed a novel protein gene mutant by phage display. The mutant can detect the FAB region of IgG as well as the FC region. In addition, the group employed a rational approach to create a protein gene mutant that incorporates a pH switch. This pH switch can induce a change in KD when moving from pH 7.4 to 4, thus releasing bound antibody from the column. In this review, we also look at many technological advances in non-chromatographic based methods, an example of which is the use of thermoresponsive elastin-like polypeptide tags. The ELP tag essentially incorporates three different tools for purification. It incorporates a pH-dependent intian cleavage site, a calcium-dependent affinity binding tag, and provides temperature-dependent purification by ELP aggregation. While comprehensively reviewing advances in antibody purification techniques, overall we have found that it is important to choose the most cost-effective and practical approach for your individual requirements. So, start purification with a physiochemical separation, followed by a more specific separation such as affinity or mixed mode chromatography. This video abstract is only a taster of what you will find in the review, so please have a look. We would like to thank the School of Biotechnology in DCU, the Beaufort Marine Research Award and finally we would like to give a big thank you to the Biomedical Diagnostics Institute and Science Foundation Ireland. 
Thank you, and we hope you have enjoyed this short video clip of our review and found it informative.